I'm sorry for acting as though I'm on crack with all of these uploads, but I just have to keep it going because these stories keep blowing me away. I actually read this one earlier today. So a 17-year-old went underwent mutilation to remove her clitoris, and she died. And, you know, I thought that was just bizarre, and it was this strange thing, but it turns out uh, it's a recurring trend over in Egypt. Now, I actually have a couple of st statistics over here. 92% of married Egyptian women aged 15 to 49 have been subject to female genitalia or female genital mutilation. Now, 82% of the female circumcisions in Egypt are performed by trained medical personnel. Okay, so was this death just a result of that other... 18%? You know, I, I don't understand. I, you, you're giving me these numbers, uh, United Nations, but you're, you're not justifying it with any type of backing. And I'm actually kind of annoyed by the fact that you have women in these videos that CNN posted, and you know, they had these little interviews where they're discuss, uh, discussing the practice and they're talking about it. They'll tie them down and they'll put these blindfolds over their eyes. And they'll rub this, uh, it's a type of, some it's some substance. They'll put it on the wound after they take their three cuts into the uh, clitoris, I think. And it'll, it'll sting like hell, but it will stop the bleeding. Now, I was mostly appalled by the fact that, again, you have women describing this as being okay. And justifying that they're not, going, these people, these girls will not scream because they look bad in front of their friends. Who cares about your friends when someone is removing your genitalia? And and just the way they describe it, the way they speak about this, it's as though they have no type of sympathy or compassion for anyone. I can understand doing this, they were getting paid, but it just seems that they genuinely believe in this this twisted reality where they can just cut open or cut off someone's genitalia and go on the next day and I and I almost wanted to hope that every one of them had to undergo that same type of trauma I really would love to have seen their reactions if they underwent it and something tells me they did and they're, now they're kind of in this vengeful thing where if we had to suffer everyone has to suffer in January of last year a doctor was sentenced on charges relating to mutilating a girl the first conviction of its kind since the 2008 ban went into effect. They, that's when they banned this uh, in a, in Egypt, but they still do it. But rights campaigners still seeing that the reinforcement is difficult and does not address the often collective acceptance of FGM in some communities. So, continuing, criminalization is enough, said Dala Abdelhamid, the gender and woman, women's rights officer at the Egypt-based Egyptian Initiative for Personal Rights. The national campaign... Campaigns have to confront the root causes that propel the families to circumcise their daughters in hopes of controlling their sexual desires. That's another part of this. They want to prevent them from having any type of being just interested in guys or the opposite sex or just anybody. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. They act as though they're, they're, we're supposed to hold them to a different standard than the males who I'm sure are not having their uh, penises cut off. And they shouldn't. Neither sex should have their, their genitalia removed or messed with or tampered in any way. Because in my view, you need those to survive and to function as a human being. That's why you were given them. We have no body part that is just useless. We don't use that at all. And obviously they know that we use our genitals for having sex, but there's a difference in that they're also used for the to... I don't want to say piss, but uh, to urinate, to eject feces, which I guess, I mean, I'm, women have a different use of that. But the point I'm making is there, every part of the body has some role to play. And when you mutilate it, you risk damaging just fundamental parts of the body. That's why she died. The, the complications from that surgery. If they hadn't given her that surgery, she'd still be alive. And then they, you know, they keep acting as though, why, why are people so upset by this? They're upset by it because it's it's just it's not right to shorten someone's lifespan because of an old tradition that has done nothing for anyone. 
what is one person that was benefited by having their vagina uh, cut off or removed or tampered with to where they couldn't engage in sexual activity? When was one person bettered by having their penis removed? Never. It's it's such a ridiculous... It's almost as though these people have this twisted way of thinking. And they can't accept that their culture is wrong so they, they, they they're just they they're without the sympathy that they need they they know this is wrong you wouldn't be putting blindfolds over people's eyes and tying them to walls and to the ground and putting knives in them if you didn't think something was messed up about it you put the blindfolds over their eyes so you don't have to look at them and see that what in their eyes they don't want this this is wrong stop doing it you put the thing over their mouth so they don't scream and go what are you doing to me it's as simple as that and if they can't see that they're, they're either just ignorant or they're horribly horribly deprived of any type of empathy or sympathy for another person so that's that's all i'm going to say and that's it have a good day uh, this really has disturbed mine Along with that UCLA shooting and that uh, burning the, the young lady over in Pakistan. This is enough to make somebody just be depressed with society. <sighs> Have a good day.